Oh, and well done, O'Sullivan. What a pot, and look at the position. What? Pure. Yeah, no holding back with that one. It was all out when it two cushions into the black. Eight. Not absolutely perfect there, but if this is straight enough, yeah, just push the cue all Nine. through. And now look, two shots later and the ball's all there with mercy. O'Sullivan is really good to watch. 16. But try telling that to Graham Dot at the moment. Still, eyes downcast looking 17. at the floor. I think he's got a, a piece of paper there as well on his lap. Maybe he's looking at some words that are written on the paper. Hmm. What do you think it says, Phil? Don't miss blacks off the spot. 24. Wise words. Yeah, the, the reds are all sitting nicely here, but the colours are not great. The pink, I don't think the pink passes into either corner. The blue's tied up, so he can only work with the black at the moment. 25. Got another little soft screw into them three reds there. And then that really opens things up. There you go. Absolutely lovely. Perfectly played. Pink now released. 32. 33. You've played him on many a big occasion, Joe. Tell us what it feels like when he's in full flow, O'Sullivan, and you're basically powerless to stop it. It's, it's one of them you always look forward to playing, Ronnie, because it is, you know, he, he is the, the pinnacle of our sport, and it's, it's what you sort of set your sights on, but... It's, it's just the speed and the ease he does everything in. You know, you, you play, he hasn't played a bad shot there, Graham. He's just left the long red. And, you know, well, you just look at him and all of a sudden you can't, you're just getting ready for the next frame. It's, it's all done in a flash and he very, very, re very, very rarely leaves himself anything missable because his cue ball control is so good. It's just easy part after easy part. And so, following on from that, when you do beat him, it must be a, a fantastic feeling. Oh, it's, it's, well, you, you know you've really achieved something, haven't you? You know, to beat him at any time is, is a great, great achievement. And, but on, but I, I've always liked playing Ronnie. Obviously, my record isn't great against him, as no one's is. But, but he's a nice person to play when he's not absolutely firing, because the balls generally don't go scrappy. You know, he's always looking to play safety shots to bring the black into play and the pink into play. So when you do actually get a chance, the balls are there 56. to score. So it's, it's, it's always in your own hands, but you just don't get that many chances. Pond success rate at the moment, 94. 57. Normally, he sticks it around that. Might go a percentage or two higher. Yeah, he just... He just you can count on one hand in a, in a season, especially like a season like this one where he's 64. really, really sharp. How many easy balls he misses, it's just so few and far between. Seventy. Seventy-one. So the break goes to seventy-one. It's lasted just over four minutes. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. Eighty-six. Seven. Now Sullivan's talked about getting to a thousand centuries as being one of his goals. A thousand centuries in professional competition, that is. Now just 
a few pots away from making what would be number 938. Hmm. 94. Going on that then, Phil, could be, uh, if not next season, the season after. I mean, all the averages, I don't know what the average is, but if he plays in a lot of tournaments, you would say it always gets sort of 30 plus. So it's, it's a milestone you'd expect him to achieve. They love him, don't they? With every reason to. 102. Well, he made 50 centuries last season. This is 64th this season. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's, it's just cubal control. It's so good. He's, he's just the one to beat, and he all, all the time. His level very rarely dips. No fluke, but what a fantastic break from Ronnie O'Sullivan. A pure red from distance.